Hey there flippers and welcome back to Second Life Treasures. So in today's video we are going to be doing another sales review video where we look back at some of the sales from November and I have to admit it was a very very strange month. Um, yeah it'll all make sense once we get to the totals towards the end of the video but for now let me go and grab my tablet and then what we'll do is we'll go through the top 10 sales for last month. So, in our number 10 spot, we have got a Sanyo VHS player. Uh, this came with the remote as well. And I believe this was picked up from one of the, the later Sunday boot fairs. Uh, we paid £2 for it. Um, it actually ended up selling for £39.99. Uh, and that worked out to be a £25.78p profit, which worked out to be about a 64% profit margin which was really, really good. Then, moving on, we've got a DVD that I've had for such a long time. Um, and I remember exactly where we picked it up from. We picked it up from the Hospice of Hope uh, on one of our midweek charity shop hunts. Um, and this was a 4x4 is born. Um, now, yes, that doesn't sound like my sort of thing, um, but it was someone's um, because they actually ended up paying £36.99 for it. It was brand new and sealed. Um, and I think we, had, we, pe we picked it up for 60p. So not bad in the slightest. Um, sort of quick and easy to ship as well. So we ended up with a £27.97p profit, which worked out to be a 76% profit margin. Then, next up, we've got a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. Uh, these are the, the plain white ones. Uh, we paid £5 for these. Uh, these, I'm 99% sure they would have come from one of the boot fairs. Can't tell you which one. <laughs> um, we got £44.99 for these. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I pick up the Air Force Ones whenever I see them. Uh, as long as you can get them cleaned up, um, they normally... Go easily go for about 40 40 pounds so yeah i always tend to pick them up uh with that we ended up with a 28 pounds and 73p profit margin which was another 64 percent uh sorry 28 pounds and 73p profit which was a 64 percent profit margin there we go I'll get it right in the end <laughs> uh next up we've got the fusion 5 extra android tablet now, this one I do remember. I think this was the first early morning boot fair, that I, early morning Sunday boot fair that we went to. Um, so it would have been the video that come out a couple of weeks ago now. Um, and I know I picked these up from a seller. This is one of, my, one of the earlier pickups that I made that day. Uh, the seller had two Android tablets, and this was one of the ones that I picked up. So I, I paid £15 for both of them. So it works out about £7.50 I paid for this one. Uh, it sold for £44.99, which landed us a £29 and 86p profit, which worked out to be a 66% profit margin, which was really, really good. Um, obviously, I've still got the other one. It is listed. Um, and yeah, I've been seeing a couple of people look at it recently. So hopefully that won't be too much longer till that goes. Then next up, we've got something that I actually picked up. Uh, from the Sunday Boot Fair, um, and I think it was within the first couple of Sunday Boot Fairs of the year. Um, and this is the uh, Scion Series 3 Electronic Organizer. Uh, so it was what I used to call a palm top, um, because it was obviously small enough to fit in your, your palm. Um, I paid £2 for these. I actually picked up three of them. Um, it was three different models. I think there was the 3, the 3A, and then the Series 5. Um, the, I think we sold the Series 3 pretty much within about a week of me listing them. Series 5 sold a couple of months ago, and this was the last one to go. The only problem with this one is it has a couple of marks on the actual uh, screen lens. Uh, not the screen, I don't think it was on the screen itself, um, just on the... No, it was no, it was. It was actually on the LCD screen, um, but I declared that in the listing, made it quite clear, um, so I knew it would be something that would sit for a while. But yeah, that sold. 
Uh, so yeah, we paid two pound for it, sold for forty four ninety nine, um, and that works out to be a thirty three pound and a penny profit, uh, which was a seventy three percent profit margin, which was really good. Then in the number five spot, we've got a Toshiba Blu-ray player. Uh, this come with the remote as well. Uh, sold, uh, sorry, picked it up for three pounds. Um, once again, I'm gonna pretty much assume that this was a boot fair pickup. I can't remember what this one looks like, so uh, I can't remember where we picked it up from. Uh, but it sold for 49.99. So I'm just having a look at my list. Uh, that was a 39 pounds and 11p profit which worked out to be a 78% profit margin. Then in the number four spot, the good old staple of the Olympus digital voice recorder. Um, I think I've got two more of these left now. Um, so yeah, not too long until we won't be seeing them anymore, <laughs> unless I can find some more. Um, so as I say, these were something that I was given. Um, and yeah they've been selling really really well this one went for 51 pounds and 99p uh, that is a 39 pounds and 93p profit which was a 77 percent profit margin then we've got a plush that i was really really glad to see sell uh, this was the uh, disney duffy the bear um, fireman and yeah we picked this up from one of the charity shops earlier on in the year um, I got a whole load of plush and this was one of the things that, that was in there. Um, I knew that it sold really well. Obviously, I saw the Duffy when I was there, grabbed it. And when I got home, done the research and yeah, saw, saw what it sold for. So pretty much just listed it and just left it. I was more than happy for it to just sit there and I knew that it would eventually sell. Uh, so we ended up, we picked it up. It worked out for 33p. Uh, because obviously I got a whole load of plush in a massive bundle. Um, it sold for £59.99p, and which worked out to be a £47.71p and profit, which was an 80% profit margin. So yeah, really, really happy that that finally went. Um, as I say, I knew that it would go eventually, um, but yeah, really glad to see it go. Then next up we have got our number two and our number one spots are two absolutely ginormous hitters. Um, and in the number two spot, and I'm surprised these ended up in number two, um, it is the Nike Air Vapor Max that we picked up from the boot fair a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, I, I picked them up um, and as I was walking away from the stall after buying them, um, one of the guys that I speak to quite regularly at the boot fair come up and ask, oh, how much did you get them for? And when I told him five pounds, he was like, oh, well, you've done really well there. And I'm like, oh, okay. I just saw a pair of night trainers. They looked different, so I decided to pick them up. So only once I got home, I realized that they were selling for over a hundred pound. Um, so I think I listed them at 105 pounds with 650 delivery. And yeah, just thought, you know what? There once again, I'll just leave them there um, and see what goes. I put offers on as well, so I was expect I've gone through and I've started putting offers on a load more items again now. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll stick offers on and see what comes through. And about two weeks after I listed them, got an offer sent through of ninety pounds, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. Um, that's still a massive profit margin for me. So uh, yeah, we ended up picking up for Fiverr. Uh, they sold for £96.50. And yeah, as I say, that was on a received offer. Uh, that worked out to be a £77.6 and p profit, which was another 80% profit margin. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really chuffed that they went. Obviously, because I originally listed them at 105 and they were over the 100 pound mark, they actually went off. They had to go off for authentication, um, which I was actually more than happy with because obviously they go off for verification. Um, they then verify them. If they're then approved or if they're then verified as authentic, they're then sent on to the buyer. Now, I've had the email to say that they have been authenticated and they have been sort of shipped onto the buyer, which is amazing. Um, but 
as well as a bit of an extra sort of security for me. If the buyer then decides to return them, they then have to be returned by the authenticator as well. So they'll basically be returned to the authenticator. The authenticator, the authenticator will then send them back to me. So at least I know that the ones that I'm getting back will be the ones that were sent. Uh, so that was really, really good. Um, it's the first time I've ever done anything with the um, the eBay authentication system. And I have to say, it, uh, it went really well. Really smooth, no problems at all. So really happy with that. And then our number one sale for the month was brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so it is the Bell and Howard Film Sonic Super 8 projector. Um, and you'll see it just here. So it's sold for £156 and 50p. Um, no, it's not even my top sale because we had the DVDs earlier on in the year. But we paid £5 for these, uh, for this, sorry. And I think. I'm pretty sure this come from a boot fair. I know I've got one up in the loft that come from a charity shop, but I think this one actually come from a boot fair. So yeah, a five pound paid, 156 pounds and 50p um, sale price. So that worked out to be a 124 pounds and 35p profit. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really chuffed with that. And um, yeah, that worked out to be a 79% profit margin. So yeah, all in all, some absolutely amazing sales for this month. Um, but what we'll do now is we will quickly go through the totals for the month. And this is where things get a bit interesting um, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I originally had my targets um, up for this month. Um, but it was looking very early on that they were going to be massively out of reach. So I actually then pulled the targets back in line with what we've been doing over the last couple of months. So that was going to be £1,400 in sales and £900 in profit. Um, and to be quite honest, it's been really good. So we had our best ever sales month. Uh, we actually made 80 sales this month, which is absolutely amazing. I think the best that we've had so far is 71, if I remember rightly. And I think that was either January or... I think that was January or December, like either January this year or December last year. Um, so, yeah, not too sure there. Um, so, yeah, 80 sales, our best ever sort of number of sales. Our sale price was, or our total sales for this month, sorry, was £1,425 and 1p. So we we did hit the target just. We made it by £25 and a penny. Um, but unfortunately, that didn't mean that we, we actually missed out on our profit target. And I think looking at, the sales for the month um, and actually looking at the amount of offers um, I'd say out of those 80 sales 25 maybe 30 were um, offers in one way or another either me sending them um, me receiving an offers or counter offers on offers that I've sent um, so yeah, we ended up, our total profit was £852.88, which not a massive, we've not missed it by much. Um, £47.12 we've missed it by. Um, but what was actually quite interesting as well is we were actually down on our profit margin as well this month. So our profit margin for this month was 46%. Um, for those of you that have seen not seen the videos before, I like to aim for around the 50% uh, profit margin. So we're below that by about 4%, uh, which, once again, is not a massive number. But I think if we had hit the 50, we would have probably hit the uh, profit target for the month. But I think that is just going to be something that will... It's just how things are at the moment. Um, so... That's fine. All I'll do next month is, is I will keep chugging away. Um, I'm actually filming this video 
on Thursday. So we're actually filming it on the 1st of December. Um, I've had a couple of sales come through today. Um, and obviously I've got a couple of sales over the last couple of days uh, to go out. So the last couple of days of November um, didn't get anything out because of the postal strikes. Um, but I will be getting them out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not displeased with that. As I say, really, really chuffed that we hit our um, hit our sales target, and also that we actually made uh, we actually beat our record for number of sales. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, as I say, I think at the moment there's a lot going on in the world, so. We, I'm going to feel it in some ways. Um, I will say with our listings, I didn't quite manage uh, 10 per day. Uh, there was a couple of days where I missed out. And I will say the last couple of days of November, I wasn't able to get any new listings up. But I did list 287 items, uh, which was really good. Uh, what I did do actually is just before coming on and filming the video, I um, went through my spreadsheet. And on my spreadsheet, I've got a tab that shows all of my items. And then anything that I've got listed, I highlight in green and put the date that it was listed. So I actually used that. I took that, that tab, I split it into two. So I created one for my dead, li my dead pile, or death pile, sorry, um, and then one for active listings. And it's actually quite interesting because I think there I'm sitting on about £7,500 profit on both sides. So on the listed and the um the death pile obviously i've got a lot of um a lot of pickups that i've made that are coming up in up and coming videos uh one of them yeah let's just say it's a new decor in the house shall we say <laughs> um yeah i think that video is going to go out the last week in december um a very very stressful video to film uh, a very stressful pickup and yeah i'm looking forward to getting it out there but yeah we'll see that towards the end of december uh, i think i've got a couple of charity shop videos uh for this month as well um a facebook video and then obviously i am for those of you that haven't seen as well i have started putting out my shorts now um, I think I put them. I put one out on Monday with a look back at the sales from that weekend, and then I also put out a video on Thursday, and I'm going to mix that one up. That is going to be sort of like a, a tips video. Um, I've got a, a whole load of different things um, planned for that video. I think at the moment I've got a couple of tips videos for people that are just starting to get into reselling or maybe even resellers that have been uh, in the game for a while and just looking to change things up a bit. So yeah, I am doing shorts now and because I'm doing shorts on YouTube, um, I'm also dual posting my short videos on TikTok now. So what I'll do is I will stick my TikTok name uh, in the bottom there um so yeah if you're on tiktok uh give me a follow and then you'll also see the short videos go up on there as well but with that said that is going to wrap up the video for today but before you head off if you did enjoy the video don't forget to hit that like button and if you're not already smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when i upload new videos and yeah with that said thank you so so much for watching today really hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one all right bye